Hello, it's Poppin' YouTube. It's your man King D here. So I want to talk about Resident Evil 6 real quick. Um, I'm making Resident Evil 6. I really am. Um, but it's a small problem I have with Resident Evil 6. The only thing I don't really like about Resident Evil 6 is Chris Redfield's campaign story. Oh, man, I kind of I feel like it's horrible. I kind of feel like it's trash. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's had to be probably the most trashiest shit I think I have seen or played. Through the whole entire time playing, I mean, it's my well, this is how I play. I didn't beat the whole entire game completely yet. Right now, um, I just started off doing Jake's. Um, I beat I beat Lance first, and I just and I just beat um, I just beat Chris. And and the problem is that I have is Leon felt like a real true a true blue Resident Evil game. You know, it, it felt like you had some hard specs in there. I wasn't the greatest hard hard little segments in there, but you had some 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 some, some scary moments in the game I, I wanna say, especially when he was in the uh in, in, in the subway with a bunch of the zombies coming coming at you where you see like the shadow of them coming at you and shit. That shit that shit was top notch. It was like a lot of things I kinda felt like Leon's as he felt like a real a real a Resident Evil game. Now you got like now now we play uh for, for for instance Chris Redfield campaign story his shit kind of felt kind of felt a little a little lackish or something something special because I don't know it's like when you, when you play Chris Redfield story I, I don't like how it starts off it starts, starts off kind of bad it starts off but already he has amnesia he don't know he don't know anything about so all the other other he know is his name is fucking Chris Redfield he a fucking drunk out of his luck in fucking Europe somewhere or some shit and it was like and and I and that pretty much was it was it was it with his whole story. Now, now, well, not really the whole story. That's like just like the first chapter, and then he gets his memory back and shit. But then it's like, as you play in the game, the first two chapters, it's kind of felt like you have multiple fucking partners. It's, be it's better enough. The game is, is 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 you know whole the whole entire game period since Resident Evil Five is all co-op based. So the the problem I have is with, with Chris Redfield's story from the first two chapters, you pretty much have the whole entire military with you. And then, of course, by chapter two, they start, you know, dying off. But the problem is, it's like between chapter one and two, you still had it's still between two, like the four people or two to six people with you. Where it, it, it was coming down to the point where you didn't need to have, you know, you, you get to shoot because it was like they was going to do shooting for you or, or where the case may be. It was like you never had that real, real fear time. In, in in Chris in Chris's campaign story, it was like something about Chris's Chris story. I kind of felt like they went very lazy on, and then and not only that too, it kind of felt like Chris story. It don't really feel like a Resident Evil game. It just feel like an action game just for Chris Redfield, just for Chris Redfield in it. Or so the fact that it, it was it took the name and had Chris Redfield like here. What's Resident Evil Six? We all know they're supposed to be zombies, but it was like they they're still they're still some smart zombies, which I do not like. Or look at the like Leon story where he had dumbass zombies where where they, they was like slow well not slow they still still fucking running but it was like Leak Leon felt like a real Resident Evil story. Now Chris it was just like wow man like go like, oh, Chris this 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 is horrible. It it's like nothing but an action game. They had dumb dumb segment in the games where I kinda felt like it just it just wasn't it wasn't really Resident Evil. You know what I mean? Like like me me explain for a quick second. Like one part of the game you're 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 driving a car. What Resident Evil game have you ever played where you have to drive a car to get the fuck up out of there or do whatever? Now I think I I, I believe Resident Evil Five you did a little driving segment, but this this was like ridiculous. Like you really drove, you know, for for a chasing. Like like that that what you was doing. You you were chasing you were chasing Ada Wong, and it was like that's 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 the thing uh, for me. I'm like that's not Resident Evil. Like, like I'm playing like an action game. This would this would you know this for Chris Redfield in it. That, that that's what it felt like. Well, here's another example. This, this time you're playing, you're playing a Harrier jet. Like I like, I, why, why are you flying a fucking airplane and, and shit and shooting and shooting at missiles and shooting at other, you know, shooting at other, you know, helicopters, attack choppers and shit. Are they shooting back at you? Like shit like that did, did not feel like a Resident Evil game. Like like, Chris Chris story to me was this almost the trashy story I think I have I have played so far. Uh, Jake Jake seemed like he's all he's all about action as well. Or right along with Chris, but at least. At least with, so far with with Jake, I can't really say much because I only got chapter two with Jake. It's like right now, it seems like he's just as bad as Chris, but not as bad as Chris. Chris seemed like he had like like his story was dull. It it, it just was not a sight excitement. At least with at least with Jake's story, it you know, 
it explains who Jake is, why Jake is this, is this new character in the game, where we all know who Chris is, and it was just like Chris was, this, and they, they made him like a full blown military guy. Which I'm like, it's cool, it's whatever. That's that's what the whole BS B S A A thing is, the, like you know, anti terror mutant people. I get it, but it was just, it was just like I don't know. It was like he was too full full blown military base for me to the point where I was just like, yeah, I'm I I, I can't really feel feel this game right now but with his story his story like i said from beginning to end i was i was truly like this bored i like i, I don't know what to say like with, with leon from beginning to end well maybe not his his very last end movie because i kind of felt like his end movie was kind of like what the fuck ever like they could have did something better for his ending movie but but from the time the game started from the time the game ended i enjoyed playing as leon and and from Chris from the beginning to end, I was like, wow, Chris, your story just fully blown sucks. Like I'm I'm mad. I'm mad that they they could have did something so much so much better with Chris, maybe better or or you know where the case may be. It was just just Chris story. I don't I don't know how about still. I don't, you might might have somebody say they really like Chris story, but it it just did not do nothing for me. It was just it was just nothing but pretty much just just shooting whatever, and and it was just like it was just like. So so born to play play as Chris. Now let me just with Jake a little bit. Jake really um like I said I really can't say much about Jake. I just started before you started playing Jake. Jake because I don't like so only like the second chapter. Uh, for Jake it seemed like he's more heavy based on on the boss battles. It seemed like it seemed like with with Jake uh, it seemed like he gonna have some tough some tough ass boss battles compared to what what Chris and Leon had. Cause Chris and Leon didn't really to me they didn't really have no these big time boss battles like that. I like you had some boss battles where it was like challenging, but but Leon uh, not Leon, I'm sorry. Jake feel like his whole his whole story might be on that that boss where you're gonna be like, oh what the fuck? I do not I do not want to deal with this boss right now. Like you know how we played Resident Evil two and three where you had you had what was his name? Titan, where his name was big big ball headed dude with the trench coat that serious killer walk and then and then you had like nemesis bosses like that where it was like you was like damn you you got scared when you see him because it was like you, you you don't know how to kill him you don't know how to beat him it was like you just like ran just ran around for your life until until you got away from him and that's what seemed like jake's going on so that's why i say jake right now i i have no problem playing that jake because his it's, it's like he gonna have like that bro with that, that serious boss battle where which I have not seen in a long time from, from Resident Evil. I didn't really get that in Resident Evil 4. I really didn't get that in Resident Evil 5. So it seemed like with Jake with Jake's story, they're going to give you that real good boss. That real good boss that, that, that was just, just like, yo, why the hell he's not dying and why he's not going away. So at least with Jake, it felt like they actually added some type of Resident Evil feel with Jake's story. But that, that, that's a, that's my thing really so far. But it's like... That's the main thing I really didn't like with Chris. It was just like his story was just bad. Like that's the only thing I really, I really have real complaint about Resident Evil was this Chris story just did not fit in so far with with Jake and and, and Leon has had accomplished with their story so far. It's like Leon and Jake are like prime example of being a, a good Resident Evil game. Then you put in Chris is just like you just want to close your eyes and go to sleep on the story because that's how bad it was. But here's the good news about about everybody's story. I like the fact that when you're playing campaign. Everybody, everybody's story, story somehow interacts with everybody. So if you're playing as Leon, while you're playing as Leon, you might you might run into um, Jake and Sherry. And while you, while you run into Jake and Sherry, you're talking to them, and now you have to be be partner, partner and buddy, buddy to, to uh, get through to the next segment until you know until you until you don't see them no more. Then the next you know you might you might run into Chris, Chris and what's his name, Pier, Piers or Pier, whatever his name is. I'm not sure who the new guy is. I forgot his name that damn quick, and I just fucking beat you know. The, the the Chris the, the Chris story, but but it's like and then you start running to them and then then next you no know, after you beat them or after you just got done finished talking to them you might run back right back into Chris, um uh, Chris Jake is Jake and Sherry again so it's like I like how they kind of interact the whole entire world of, of Resident Evil and you actually run into everybody's story and everybody somehow interact with their story by running into one another which which I thought was very cool and I actually like that how how they put that together because because at least, at least explains why why you know all the, the the six people that you're playing or you could play as I mean you can play as six people you don't have to play as you know Jake you can play as Sherry if you want to too a lot of people probably they should know that, but you don't have the game. You can you can play as like Sherry, or you can play as the guy Pears, or you can play as, as Leon chick that he's he's rolling with the whole game. But it's like, at least with them, you can actually, like I said, you can run into them in in mid game, which I thought was very cool to, to tell the story much better, which I actually did like. 
but me, I like a lot because, like I said, it, it, it shows some uh, some some interesting things for the story. Um, that, that's, that's it. The story, like I said, the story was cool. It, it just, like I said, Chris Chris Redfield's story was just so bad. Uh, it was it's it just like I gotta feel like they could have did a whole lot more with Chris. Or like I said, me personally, from the time before the game came out and they announced it. And they was and they was announcing, it and they showed off Chris, they showed off Leon, they showed off the the new guy Jake, and shit. My whole mindset was keep Jake because he's new. You know, I you don't know what the story is, so he he might be good, cool. Uh, I was kind of disappointed when I heard that Leon and Chris were gonna be in the goddamn game, just because of the fact that this is the way I felt from the from the jump. Um, Resident Evil Four, I just played as I just play as Leon. I don't really need to play as Leon anymore. I just played as him. There's no really, there's a real, real, there is no real reason why I should play as Leon and get a little story out of him. And same with Chris. I, I, he did. He just was in Resident Evil Five that came out what about two, three years ago. I, I, I do, I do not need another, um, another Chris Redfield story. And, and, and still to this very day, I'm, I'm like his story was 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 very unnecessary. They could have, like I said, put in Jill or Claire. In the game, and it would be so much, it was, it would be so much better if they would have did it that way, or even, oh, you know what? I played Resident Evil Zero, Zero, but I really don't remember Resident Evil Zero. Like I only played a little bit of, I, I didn't really beat the whole entire game, but I would say it's just the two people from Resident Evil Zero, if you have played Resident Evil Zero, but I don't, I don't remember their name. But like I said, you could have did somebody from another Resident Evil story instead of just throwing back in there, and Chris, because like I said, you just played as Chris in Resident Evil Five, you really don't need to play as Chris again. And I was kind of wishing that they did put in. Putting uh, Clara Jill because like I said, you just play that. You just play that's Chris and in Resident Evil Five. But I think they, they should have uh, much better off. Also, too, um, I don't know um, when they're going to do this. Um, Ada Wong was supposed to be in the game. Like you were supposed to play. Like it was supposed to be like that. Supposed to be her distant story. That was supposed to be non like nine um, non co op based. You just playing as Ada Wong. I'm guessing probably with her, the way you're going to probably play with her story. They probably had to do how they did in Resident Evil Four. Once you beat the Horn Tide game, uh, Resident Evil 6, you probably with the play as Ada Wong and you can see her story and see how she plays out. Because like I said, I was told I was told that you could play after, but that's what I'm guessing. I didn't beat the Horn Tide game yet, so I can't really say, well, you gotta do this, you gotta wait till it come at, at, come out as DLC. I was told I was always told it was already on, on a goddamn disc. That's what I was told from from the jump. So I'm guessing I'm, I'm guessing that's what you gotta do. Beat the Horn Tide game with you know with Leon, Chris and Jake and then and then you unlock Ada Wong's story was which she's riding Dolo, which I would definitely like. Uh right now too, Resident Evil. Right now I'm playing the Horn Attack game by myself. Um uh, playing my Horn game by myself on uh, on Vet. Beat the Horn Attack game on Vet by myself and then I will probably try to do um and probably I will be playing online with somebody the Horn Attack game again on professional because you know professional gonna be a fucking ass. It's bad enough on Vet. You, you get hit like a couple times and you're, and, and, and you're dead, and then and of course now when you play you play like on normal or amateur or whatever, it won't it won't be as that bad. But like you still can like take a couple hits and, and live. Right now on vet it seems like you take like a couple of blows and you die quick as hell. But um, that's what that is really. Um, also too, you know also that I'm actually happy and I'm proud of and they got rid of. I'm proud they got rid of the store. I that's the one number number one thing I, I hated in Resident Evil Four and Five. Where when you play Resident Evil 4, you're running around and you might find this guy that's, that's like in a turban or some shit. Or, you know, he's like, he's like one of them Pakistani or Indian dudes that's from like the black market and he's selling you guns and shit. And you buy, you buy guns and upgrades. So I'm kind of I'm kind of glad he got rid of that. And staying in Resident Evil 5 where after you beat beat a stage or beat a board or, you know, whatever may happen, you can go into your own inventory and take out stuff and do all this other stuff, the shit that I didn't like. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm glad they got rid of that. It, it, it now I feel like what you have is what you get. So if 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 you run out of ammo, you cannot buy no more ammo. It's not it, it's not you're not it, it's not on, on on the current on the current uh, currency system. I can't say it. on the currency system. So I'm glad they got rid of that too, because because that 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 definitely did not feel like a Resident Evil game where you can stop and make yourself better or you can actually buy buy first aid and everything else now right now is they're making you fucking sweat and 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 worry about where the next first aid going to be at because right now i have i have barely found any first aid i've been pretty much playing this game on on herbs and herbs alone like i'm talking about when i get you know a green and a green and red one you know i mix that up i get i get six i get six little herb tablets to fucking to fill my life back up that's that, that's what i've been surviving off of now i, I have found a couple first aids 
Uh, I think so far in every single story, I, I know I found like four first aids in, in Leon's. And I only found, uh, I think, five in, in Chris's. And at the damn time, I never even used the first aid for Chris because, like, like I said, you didn't really need it. It, it. Like I said, for him, it was like, it was had somebody. That's how much I hated Chris, Chris story. I, I think that's half the reason why I think why Critics gave the game such a bad review. Just the simple fact that Chris story did not fit in at all. With, with this with this Resident Evil City game, to me, to me, it was just, it was just Chris. Chris to me kind of ruined the game. To me, I don't know how everybody else feels, but that's the way I feel. But that you know, I had to talk about Resident Evil Six. Um, right now, um, I'm actually about to turn this off. Actually, I mean, shit. I mean, I will put to show you all the shit, but it just, just the blue screen. Put the, like Resident Evil Six in the back or you still cutscene. But I gotta press start for the duo day. Um, anyway, um. Right now, I'm I'm trying to download the the Metal Gear. That's uh, Metal Gear. Damn, sorry. Excuse me. Scratch that. The Metal of Honor beta. The this head head up on Apple Live. Waiting for this shit all damn day. I have to turn it on now. The beta's up there. I'm trying to play the beta. Um, I will be playing some Metal of Honor prior to night. Of course, some matches. Well, probably play that long because I gotta go to work. Gotta go to work uh, tomorrow. So what I'm doing, and then I'm off on Sunday. So I so that's I probably from from all Saturday night. I probably be uh playing. Again, Metal Honor, Metal Honor, you know, so I can get some 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 gameplay in that. I'm definitely looking forward to Metal Honor. Um, and then I pre-order it because that's what I'm gonna do. Really, um, I have this, I have this coupon from if if you, if you are a awards member at GameStop. Um, I have like a lot of points from that I do not use. But the points I'm gonna do is I, it's like I I, I can spend my points on a coupon. And I got like a fifty dollar coupon, like fifty dollars off on a brand new game that it must be in store. That's I'm gonna use that and only spend ten dollars on Metal of Honor on Metal of Honor and just do that when it comes out and then you know, whatever and, and go from there. But that's what it is. So be on the lookout for the uh for um the Metal of Honor uh beta the beta gameplay. Let me have to get off the camera because my camera just gave me the warning sign but about the battery but ah, I can't say it. Damn, fucking up the day. Them all my words. Then my battery's about to die. So it's your man King Day. One.